In the special care nursery, your baby may require treatment for their jaundice. This is called phototherapy. Phototherapy shines special light on your baby's skin. It helps change the configuration of the bilirubin as it deposits in the skin and helps your baby excrete it. Babies typically tolerate phototherapy very well. And it is one of our more common therapies employed in the special care nursery. Ventilators help babies with their breathing. Premature babies have immature lungs and they can't efficiently move the gas in and out of their lung or exchange those gases because of the immaturity to the lung. New technology in ventilators allow us to synchronize or deliver the breath when the baby is asking for the breath. This was a critical development for, for premature babies because it helps keep the breathing cycle normal for them. This is designed to limit the damage that can occur to the premature lung from having to be used so early in gestation. The gases are delivered from the ventilator to the baby through a breathing tube. Monitors are used to record and monitor your baby's vital signs at all times. Your typical vital signs of heart rate, breathing rate, blood pressure are all recorded continuously with blood pressure being recorded intermittently depending on the way we, uh, we measure. Oxygen sensors on your baby's hand or foot will measure the oxygen level in the blood and some monitors are designed to measure the expired carbon dioxide that your baby releases through the endotracheal tube. These monitors will alarm when the baby is out of range. Alarms are set at a very specific level so that the babies won't fall out of range without a healthcare provider being alerted. Monitors are also designed that distant monitoring can be accomplished through central stations. Some monitors also have the ability to be viewed over the internet. This monitor is recording this baby's heart rate, breathing rate, oxygen levels, blood pressure, with additional capacity as needed. Many institutions will have bedside computers or additional monitors that allow for access to laboratory studies, x-rays, orders, medications, all of which are part of the care that the baby is receiving. Many babies in the NICU will also require IV therapy during their hospital stay. IV therapy can be medicines, nutrition, support for blood pressure, Pumps are designed to deliver medications to the babies. There are many different types of pumps that can be used in the NICU. These particular pumps are called smart pumps. They have medication libraries that have to match the dosing and concentration of any medications that your baby would receive. Anything that doesn't match the medication library would not be allowed to be infused. This is a safety mechanism because our dosing in premature babies is so minuscule that small dosing errors can result and major problems for the babies. These pumps can also deliver minuscule amounts up to one one hundredth of a cc. Some additional equipment that we use to help your baby is available here. Monitoring support lines, these leads, these small leads attached to your baby's arms and chest and allow us to record their heart rate, their breathing rate. These will hook into the monitors that we demonstrated earlier. This small band-aid looking piece of equipment will wrap around your baby's foot or hand and records their oxygen level continuously. Depending on your baby's size, this would be a blood pressure cuff. The blood pressure cuff, much smaller than we would use in an adult, but works in very much the same way. This inflates and records the pressure, also displayed on the monitor for the staff. For blood draws, we often have to use a tourniquet, which looks like a simple rubber band for a baby's arm. Indwelling support lines include the endotracheal tube. This is the breathing tube. It's a little bit smaller than a straw and come in various sizes depending on your baby size. This hair-thin catheter can be used to be placed in the umb umbilicus or the belly button. Those blood vessels are open and accessible to us and we use these catheters to place into the deeper blood vessels where we can deliver medicines and nutrition, do blood tests and monitor blood pressure without sticking your baby with needles all the time. The team that takes care of your baby is very extensive. There are neonatologists who are pediatricians who are specifically trained in the care of the sick newborn. 
Our training takes an additional three years after pediatric residency, and most neonatologists are, are board certified or board eligible. Neonatologists in training are called neonatal fellows. They're, board, they're typically board certified pediatricians who are going on to additional training. Many neonatal intensive care units will be staffed by fellows as well. Teaching university centers will also have residents and students who will participate in the care of your baby. Additional staff in the NICU include neonatal nurse practitioners. Neonatal nurse practitioners are advanced practice nurses who have specifically trained in the care of the complex newborn. They are capable of performing most of the procedures that the neonatologists perform and they are specifically trained in newborn resuscitation. They are an integral part of most NICUs. Bedside NICU nurses uh, provide the hands-on care for your baby for the vast majority of the time of their NICU stay. They are very highly trained in the use of uh, most of the technology that we'll be introducing today and many are certified in neonatal nursing. Additionally, there are other nurses who have gone on to specialized uh, training known as clinical nurse specialists or clinical nurse leaders who have varying roles in the NICU in the care of your baby. Speech and physical therapists help your baby in development and growing in their muscle strength. They're very frequently used to help us with feeding issues and um, to ensure that your baby's tone and muscle development progresses normally. Case management help you understand finances of having your baby in the NICU. And finally, pastoral care is available for spiritual support. We hope this